Almost two years since a bizarre murder in St. Charles County, and today a judge gave the woman accused, Pamela Huff, more time before she stands trial. News source Lauren Traeger has been following the case from the start, and Lauren, the judge gave a win of sorts to the prosecution today. That's right. Pamela Hupp was a witness in a murder from 2011 in Lincoln County, but some have questioned whether or not she was actually involved in that. Well, now a judge says prosecutors can bring up that murder case during her upcoming trial in a separate murder. In August 2016, prosecutors say Pamela Hupp lured Louis Gumpenberger to her O'Fallon home and murdered him. She told police it was a home invasion and that she acted in self-defense. But Gumpenberger's family says he suffered from mental issues and would not have been capable of the plot Hupp says he tried to commit. Instead, police and prosecutors believe Hupp wanted to frame this man, Russ Faria. Faria's wife was murdered in Lincoln County in 2011. Faria was originally convicted for the crime, but then acquitted after a second trial was ordered. Though one of the last people to see Betsy Faria alive, Hupp has never been formally accused for any part in her death. That's why in these court documents, Hupp's attorneys wanted no mention of Faria at Hupp's trial. The judge Friday denied that request at this time, allowing the evidence to come in at trial. News 4 Investigates has also raised questions about the death of Hupp's mother in 2013. She died after falling from her three-story apartment in a retirement home in St. Louis County. Hupp, the last person to see her alive, police originally calling it an accidental death, but later saying the manner of death is undetermined. Prosecutors are not seeking to bring that issue up in the Gumpenberger case. Now, if convicted in that Gumpenberger case, Hupp is facing the death penalty. Her trial was set for September 11th. It's now postponed. There's no new date set yet, but we will, of course, keep you updated. Live in the newsroom, Lauren Traeger, News 4.